I just watched a Straight Dopes video about e-begging. And I want to focus on the subject of begging in general and then uh, maybe go back to e-begging. Uh, I have been homeless and I've been around people that beg a lot. And uh, so I, I have a lot of experience with that. Uh, I'll start off with uh, the homeless part. Uh, when I was homeless, um, I, I never begged at all. Uh, when I was desperate, uh, I would go to organizations to look for food. And at first I didn't even know to go there. I actually got pointed there by other people that were on the street. And it was a struggle, but I never, I never once begged. And most of the people that are begging, they don't really represent the rest of the homeless people. Uh, they're kind of, they're, it's not like they're in a separate class, but a lot of times they don't represent the rest of the, the homeless people. But beyond that, uh, there's organizations out there to help people. If somebody's really truly desperate, they're going to be begging for what they're desperate for, and money is not one of them. You know, if if they're desperate for food, uh, a shelter, that's what they're going to be begging for. And granted, there are some people that are going to lose their homes and they're begging for money to keep their homes. But I'm talking about life or death situations where they're they're truly in dire need, and there are organizations out there to help people like that. If you really want to help, go to those organizations, give your time. Give some money, uh, take some flyers. If somebody begs you for money, hand them a flyer. Um, other times, uh, before I was homeless, uh, I ran into beggars in Oceanside, California. And that was uh, a kind of an odd experience because it, it made me very cold toward beggars. Probably why I didn't want to beg later on. Because uh, I knew people that lived in houses and were begging on the street. I knew people that, that absolutely didn't need any money and they were begging on the street. Uh, one example is I was sitting at a, uh, a taco stand uh, on the outside uh, and a kid came up to me and asked me for money, for food. And I'm sitting at a taco place. Here's my food on my plate. I said, here, you can have this. He goes, oh, I don't eat, I don't eat this kind of food. Um, I said, well, what food do you like? Oh, I like Wendy's. And I was like, what do you know? There's a Wendy's right over there. I'll meet you over there right after I'm done. The kid just went and drove off like I was the problem. So really watch who you're giving money to. And that includes e-begging. E-begging is even worse because you don't even meet the person face to face. You don't know their family. You don't know what situation they're in. And there's no way you can know unless you know them personally. Uh, don't give money to people. You know, if they truly need help, there's organizations to help them. Uh, point them in the right direction, uh, look for organizations that can help them, uh, and let, let those organizations do what they do best. Uh, figure out who truly needs the help and give it to them. Uh, I've had to go through this system before and I got the help I needed at the time. And uh, that's really all I've got to say about uh, begging right now. Uh, just uh, really do research and don't just randomly give people money for nothing.